morning. Welcome to Mountain Country. Guy Gerton here in the studios. It is the Mountain Country Veteran Spotlight of the Week, brought to you by the Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group. Each and every week, we have an outstanding veteran, and no exception this week, Scott Monroe. Scott, thank you for being with us. Guy, thanks for having me here. You bet. Thank you for your service. Appreciate it. Thank you for your support. You bet. And you're not done yet. We'll, we'll no. talk about that. How did you get started? I guess it was the Air Force Reserve, right? Yes. Um, yeah, so I was living in Pittsburgh, um, had got married, was kind of in a transition, and a friend was joining the Air National Guard in Pittsburgh and said, hey, you're in a transition, why don't you come come join me and we'll do this together? And the guard couldn't get me in, um, but went to, across the runway to the reserves and joined there. Sure. Before we came on here, we were talking about decisions made. So how about that decision? Were you happy with that and going in? I think so. Um, it's been an adventure. I, I think when I joined the reserves, like um, they gave a shirt that said the adventure starts here. And it, for me, that really was true because that's what led to the rest of my career so far. So Great. Yeah. Now, where are you from originally? I uh, originally grew up in Durban, South Africa, on the east coast of South Africa. Um, lived there for 26 years and then moved to Pittsburgh. Right. I can hear it. Yes. <laughs> I can hear that. So. It, it's still there. <laughs> I've lost a lot of it. but That sounds great. So how did you get here? How did that all come about? Um, I moved over to Pittsburgh to do like a five-month ministry school and thought I would do the school and head back home and ended up working with, it was called Youth with a Mission, worked with them for a year, um, and then got a job as a pastor assistant at a local church there and just never left, right. became Is, home. That's YWAM? Yes, that right? YWAM. Yeah. Now, are you still involved with them? Today? I am not. So <laughs> in 2010, I transitioned to the church, and I still mm -hmm. have a lot of friends that are in it, but um, sure. not personally involved. So. Sure. What If you could say, what did it mean to you to, to wear the uniform, represent? I think for me, like, when I came to the U.S., like, what really stood out to me was just the honor and respect um, mm -hmm. for military and for those that have served and got to go to D.C. and see the changing of the guard. And that just struck me, like, the perfection and the honor that they gave for those that no one will even know their name. Right, um, right. And so there was always just this part of me that wanted to, like, be a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, and so when my friend asked me, um, I had actually just received permanent residency, so I was able to to join. And so, yeah, to be able to put the, the uniform on was was amazing. Mm -hmm. and, that. and then, actually, the when I graduated basic training, the day I graduated, I was able to walk out in front of all the families. There were five of us and raise my right hand and swear in as a citizen. So to do that in uniform and first time saluting the flag that during that ceremony, realizing that like I'm now a U.S. citizen was wow. incredible feeling. So. I bet people can understand that feeling, right? Yeah, I'm it's, sure. It's I mean, it was amazing. It, it really meant a lot. Sure. So. Absolutely. Now, International Guard right now. So what are you doing now? Um, so right now, so I was reserve. I had transitioned um, in 2016 to, no, 2017, sorry, to active duty, which is what brought us to Colorado. Um, and then last year, transitioned to the Colorado Air National Guard up at Buckley. Um, and so doing that part time and then working on finishing off my Masters of Divinity full time. Um, God willing, would love to go into chaplaincy in the oh, Air Force. Wonderful. I was going to ask, what's your long-time goal, or where would you like to be? Chaplaincy would be the, the long-term mm -hmm. goal. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's just something in being able to help people. Like sure. There was stuff I went through when my chaplains were there for me, and um, yeah, just want to be able to give back to the others. Sure. Well, now, speaking of that, what would you say to some veterans who are struggling? Maybe, do you have some words of encouragement for them? I, I would say seek help. Um, mm -hmm. There's such a bad stigma out there to do with mental health. Um, and I was one of those, I was struggling and I went to my supervisor and, and that. And yes, there's still, sadly, there's still people who look down on it. Um, I encountered a few individuals that kind of us that 
kind of looked badly after that on me, but but at the same time, I got the help I needed, and I was able to. I still deployed after that. I'm still serving. Like I I love it. I'm able to now move on and be mm-hmm. successful in life. Sure, and you've you're a walking example of that. But uh, one other one, what would you tell someone who's thinking about coming into the military? They don't know for sure. Would would you encourage them to join? I would. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's definitely been rewarding and that there's, I didn't join for the benefits, but there are obviously all the extra benefits and that. Um, But it's, especially if you're young, like I think there's part of me that wishes I could have joined earlier Mm -hmm. um, at a younger age, just to be able to like travel a bit more and um, be a bit more adventurous. And that, so, but it's definitely something I recommend. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time and for sharing with us. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, not that I can think of. Got it covered in a brief amount of time here. Yeah, but I think uh, so. keep up the good work, Scott. Thank you, thank sir. Thank you, guy. We appreciate appreciate, appreciate your time. And again, that's Scott Monroe. He is our veteran of the week, right here on Mountain Country. <laughs>